Hi everyone, Chris Lukanico here and welcome to Q&A, a series of videos where we take a bit of an under the hood look at one of our products. The idea is we're going to get an expert along to explain some of those more technical details to those of us that don't understand techie talk. Now today we've got our senior systems architect, Do Lutz along for the ride, or as we like to call him down here in Hobart, Joe with a D. I'm going to give you two minutes to uh, give us a bit of a rundown and I'll take this marker here and I'm going to draw up on the board here exactly what you're saying so everybody can understand bots a little bit more. How's that go? Uh, yeah, let's break it down. <laughs> let's talk you through it by going for an example. A user will type into a chat line they'll already use and I'll type something like book a meeting with John tomorrow. This message will go into the bot framework. The bot framework can take messages from multiple chat lines and sanitize it to something that our bot API will understand. Once we got the message in the bot API, the first thing we do is, is send it onto a natural language processor. The bot API is not intelligent. It has no I component at the moment. So as soon as it goes onto Lewis, Lewis passes it through a spell check to make sure there's no mistakes. And then it strips out what the user actually meant, the intent of the action. In this case, the user meant to book a meeting. It will also strip out the parameters in the message. So I book a meeting with John, John being the contact person in the user's address book. Once we have all this information, we can pass it on to the bot action logic. In this case, just a small snippet of code that calls up the Microsoft Graph API. The Microsoft Graph API can then talk to Office 365 and the user's Outlook calendar to book that meeting. Once the meeting has been booked in your calendar, we need to send a confirmation back to the user. So the action logic will send a confirmation back to the bot API which in turn will send it back to the bot framework, which knows how to communicate back to the chat client. And you will get a message on your chat client saying a meeting has been booked. The user also has the option to open up that meeting in the local calendar and see the meeting. And once the meeting has been booked, the task has been complete. And that's around about what our Lifetiles bot does. Well, mate, that was pretty intense, but I can see in your eyes, you want to say more. How about we make a promise to make a few more videos about the bot's designer. No worries, it is a very complex topic. We look forward to bringing you another video soon when we talk about Lifetiles bot's designer in a little bit more detail again. But until then, see you later, mate. <laughs> That's horrible.